Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming back with you for another Notion video and I wanted to share with you guys a tool that I found. I'm actually in the Slack ambassador group for Notion ambassadors and somebody posted this link and I was like, oh my gosh, this looks so cool. And basically it's a mind map tool that works with Notion. So unfortunately it's not inside of Notion and it can't really work. It's hard to explain. It's basically a mind map software that allows you to attach your Notion pages to it. So it's, it uses a software called Excalibur, and it's basically like that, but then with Notion, it kind of allows you to just mind map some things. Unfortunately, all of the stuff that it does in there doesn't translate, but there is another guy in the Slack group who's working on another option. So it's very, very exciting. I'm really excited for this, but I just want to show this to you guys because I think it would be helpful for you to see um, that it exists. If you're a mind mapper and you like to use mind mapping tools and you use Notion, this might be a good resource. So let's just head over here. If you haven't checked out, I have a Notion Foundations course, which I teach you guys how to use Notion from, from beginning to, to end of how to use it. And it is available at notionfoundations.com. So I hope you guys check that out. So let's head over here and I'll show you guys how to use mindmap.so. All right, so this is what it looks like. It literally is just mindmap.so. You don't have to have an account, um, but basically what you do is you click up here where it says connect with Notion. So that's gonna pop up and what it's going to do is it's going to allow you to select which pages that you use with Notion. Um, I hope that makes sense. So you can select where it says select pages. So you can switch which account that you're on and then you just select whichever one. So I'm gonna give an example of um, let me just do my ADHD resources. Let's just allow access for this specific time. I'm just, this is on my templates and freebie account. So there are, so if you just click open, you can also upload things as well. So what you're going to do is you're just, you, so to move it around, you just go like this. So there's two, there's a, there's a couple different options. So I could just start typing. I would just go over here and I would do testing one, two, three. I really like the fonts on this. Um, and then you can see you can make it bigger or smaller and it moves around just like you would a um, mind mapping tool. So if I wanted to add another thing, so let's add maybe um, an arrow and then we can add something else. Let's just call this um, category one. Now you might be thinking how does Notion factor into this? Well, let's go over here to where there's a little Notion button. What you're going to do is you're going to search for a Notion page. So let me just type in ADHD. Let me just give an example. Because that's the one I selected, I'm just going to click how to ADHD. Let's just give an example of that. So you see how it now links this over. You can make it smaller. But then what's cool about this is that it allows you to open it up over here quickly. So I can actually open up that page within this mind map option and you can see this was just me linking over to how to ADHD as a resource and that's it. Um, if I go like this, that will actually open it up in a new browser. So this is a great way to kind of mind, maybe if you're mind mapping out some things and you need quick access to information about that, maybe you're plotting a book and you have all your book chapter titles within Notion already and you want to quickly find it and it's somewhere in the notes or something. That's just some really great use cases for this. Some other things you can add here are images, like I mentioned, you can um, erase things, I believe, so you can get rid of things. So let me undo that, let's see. So if I wanted to redo that, I would just do this. So this kind of like links things together as well. So you can change the color, you can obviously change the sloppiness over here, lots of different options. You can also add things like um, different, you know, shapes, so you've got different options for that. You can stretch these in and out. It's pretty self-explanatory. You can also lock things so that, uh, I don't know if that, did that not work? Oh, that locks the canvas, okay. So, so you can move the canvas around by going like this. So you can make it as big as you want um, and as small as you want. You can also draw, just free form draw. That is basically it. Uh, I wanted to show this to you guys because I know some people were like, hey, does mine, is there a mind mapping option in Notion? And again, I want to be clear, 
what you do on this page does not impact your Notion unless you change things within this. It's more of just a way to utilize Notion as part of a mind mapping tool. Um, and they also have an AI function over here, it looks like. So they do have some options with this. Um, wireframe to code, text to diagram, laser pointer, frame tool, uh, web embed. That's actually really interesting. So you can embed something here. So this is where, let me just try this. I did my website. Um, okay, let me see if I could do YouTube. I'm just, I literally haven't tried this before, so. Hmm. So I'm not sure if that's just unique. Um, some other things you can do, text to diagram. So you can use Mermaid to describe a diagram workflow. So that's really cool. And they also have the Mermaid option. They also have um, frame tool, which I'm not sure what this is. Hmm, I'll have to look into that. Don't know what that means. And then they've got laser pointer. Oh, that's to like point. Oh, and it goes away. Okay, so it just it's immediately just a link. Okay, so again, I'm I'm new to this tool. It's not something I've done too much of, um, but it does have some shortcuts, which is nice as well. Um, so to go back and forth between what you're doing. So, anyways. I just thought this was a cool tool. I saw it in the Notion Ambassador Slack group and I thought I should share it today. So anyways, I hope that this video was fun for you guys. Hope that you guys send me some ideas of what I can use this for because I'm I'm not like, I would never really used mind mapping tools before just because I didn't have a good one and this one's free. Um, one thing I also wanted to mention is if you share it, you can share it live as a collaboration or as a shareable link, but you could also, I believe, screenshot it. So you can just like save it so you could screenshot it, put it inside of Notion. Um, so that's very helpful as well. So I just thought I would share that that's something that you can do um, as well. So you can also click here where it says save to, save to disk, shareable link, or Excalit draw. So anyways, I just want to share that today. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick video tutorial, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.